a Jesuit retreat on the side of a mountain, is the unlikely setting for a clash between manager and the superstar. For Pelé, sleep is escape from a thousand goals and four World Cups. Brazilians say these legs are ten years older than the upper body, and Saldana would like to rest the veteran star who is out of form. Football management is a modern science in which nothing is left to chance. There's a special kit for every occasion. The symbol of emancipation to the lucky ones who will wear it is a jersey emblazoned with CBD, the Brazilian Football Federation. Saldana, chastened by a loss against the Argentine, begs his team for victory in the return match in Rio, and a listless Pele is asked to adapt his game to a defensive role by tackling back. The personality clash between the two hangs over the Brazilian team. For Pele now, the only reality is in his family life. Last year, he wrote a poem to his daughter. God was generous to me, and you came. Now you are the glory of my life. On these expensive legs, Brazilian World Cup hopes are pinned. Pele's legs alone are worth over a hundred thousand pounds a year. Pele is more than a symbol in Brazil. He smiles from a million hoardings. He scissor kicks for commerce. In Brazil. Pele gives you good mileage. Saldana has gone, but Pele stays. For Pele and his comrades, the only escape from intrigue is immersion in physical preparation. Every day, twice a day, the Brazilian squad come here to train. But on the flat green floor of an extinct crater. The Brazilian squad are wrapped in cotton wool. In all weathers, their training schedule is unrelenting. Even the stars are made to train. Every fleeting posture is captured for the media. For footballers, as newsworthy as the change of a political regime. The problem for the new manager, Sagallo, will be how to use his incredible flair. Whatever the format, it will still be a formidable obstacle to the English team in Mexico.